Welcome to episode 8 of Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to code a simple MACD momentum trading strategy. So let's get into the trade setup first. The MACD indicator is one of the most popular indicators to determine trending prices. The basic rule is to buy when it cuts above the zero line or buy when it cuts above the signal line. When the direction of the trend is not clear, MACD stays close to the zero line. The trading idea is very simple. We need to buy when the trend is strong, when there is momentum in the market and the market is not sideways. As simple as that. We use smooth MACD that is 20, 40 and 50 parameters to determine the trend and do not trade when its value is between minus 25 to plus 25. That is if it is around zero or close to zero, we won't take a trade. Also, when the market is dull, the prices move slowly and rarely it goes beyond their standard deviation levels. So we use Bollinger Band with the setting as 20, 1 to filter out the signals generated when the prices are between them. So this is the overall trade idea. Now let's get into the script setup. So the first part of the script is self-explanatory. These are the parameters used for charting and backtesting. So we have already discussed this in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part. And now comes the actual part of the script. First, we are setting the parameters for the Bollinger Band. So these four lines will set the parameters for Bollinger Band. So we are setting 20, 1 as the parameter. Likewise, we are also setting 20, 50 and 40 as the parameters for MACD. Now we use the next couple of lines to generate the MACD and the signal line. So these two lines will give us the MACD and signal line values. And the next line is the buy condition. So I will go long if MACD is above zero and if MACD is above the signal line and MACD is above 25. And in addition to that, there is one important condition. The signal candle should be above the upper Bollinger Band. If you look at here, I am using the value L that is low of the candle. So this indicates the entire signal candle should be above the upper Bollinger Band. So this is the crucial signal when it comes to the buy condition. And I will square up this long position if MACD drops below zero or if MACD goes below the signal line. So this is the condition for squaring up the long position. Likewise, I will go short if MACD is below zero and if MACD is below the signal and if MACD is less than minus 25. Here also there is one most important condition. The signal candle should be below the lower Bollinger Band. So if you look at here, I use the high of the candle. So this indicates the entire signal candle should be below the lower Bollinger Band. And I'll cover my short position if the MACD goes above zero or if it goes above the signal line. And these four lines are used for removing the excess signals. This will ensure at any time there is only one active trade based on this particular strategy. The rest of the lines are self-explanatory. These are used for plotting the charts and we have already discussed this in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part as well. So if you look at the charts, you can spot the signals. So if you look at here, there's a buy signal initiated here and this trade was closed over here. And likewise, there is another buy signal triggered here, which is again closed here. And there is a third buy signal that is triggered over here, which is still open. So this particular trade is still open. So this is a nifty daily time frame chart. And we had just three signals in the last one year. This is one of the strategies that can be used for momentum trading, especially if you are trading less actively and prefer positional trades. And when it comes to back testing, so I'm going to the back testing window. And I'm setting the time frame as daily and I'm taking only long positions and I'm not changing any other parameters. So when I run a black test, it generates just three trades and one of those trades is still open. And when it comes to the reports, so if you look at here, this has generated a return of around 15 percentage. So this is a very simple strategy. So like I mentioned earlier, we have used certain set of parameters in this strategy. You can play around these numbers to optimize this particular strategy. Do give this a try and let us know in case of any questions or issues. Also, if you want us to cover any specific strategies in the forthcoming episodes, please do drop it in the comment section. We'll definitely consider it. Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.